Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Kate with Beautiful Light Home. On my channel, I love to share with you ways that you can bring Waldorf education into your home and hopefully make it more accessible for you. And in the vein of being accessible, uh, the world and the economy, finances are crazy right now. So what I really wanted to dive into today were some great free resources for both Waldorf Education and Waldorf Steiner. So I wanted to take you through a couple websites that I use um, almost on a weekly basis. Um, and they are some great Waldorf Education uh, resources that are all available for free out there or are donation based. So the very first one I want to start with is Rudolf Steiner Audio com. So this is a great website where Dale Brunsville, he is he recorded all almost almost all of Steiner's works, his whole body of works. He's still recording them, but you can find the vast majority on here, especially the common ones that people are looking for about Waldorf education or uh, basic things about theosophy and anthroposophy. So um, I heard him on a podcast before, and I'm pretty sure that he had said that he, back in the 90s, he started recording, he, he got interested in Rudolf Steiner, he found his body of works, and he wanted to record them on tape so he could listen to them on his uh, commute to work. So he started recording them on tape, and then as the internet took over, he started to put them onto the internet and share them with the world. So on this website, you won't just find uh, works just about Waldorf education, but it's all of Steiner's um, uh, works, all of his body of works. Uh, so it's anthroposophy, um, there's farming and agriculture on there, um, and all of his works as a collection. Okay, so here we are on RudolfSteinerAudio.com. You can see you can scroll down and click on alphabetical title list. And here are all the works that are currently recorded in an alphabetical format. You can find the one that you're specifically looking for, click on it, and you either choose to download the entire book as a zip file, or you can go by individual lectures or chapters and this listen to those a in a live stream format. This is a reading of a cycle entitled The Child's Changing Consciousness and Waldorf Education. Okay, so another great resource is rsarchive.org. So RS is for Rudolf Steiner. It's the Rudolf Steiner Online Archive. So rsarchive.org. Again, this site, just like the previous site, is not just focused on Waldorf education, but it's focused on Rudolf Steiner. So this is the largest digital archive of Steiner's works. So you're gonna find his books. I think there's 28 books he actually wrote. There's his lectures, which is the vast majority of his work on there and other articles that he had written. Um, and it's all for free, which is beautiful. So the way that you can, there's a couple different ways to search on here. One way to search is uh, you can search by kind of topic so you could or subject and they'll, they'll have them grouped by subject so if you want to look at education or anthroposophy but my favorite way to search on here is searching by keyword so for instance if you wanted to look up um, what did rudolf steiner say in his body of works about um, handwork there's a keyword search you type in handwork and every single article or um, lecture or um, excerpt from a book that had something to do with handwork will show up there. So this is another great free resource for you as well. Here we are on Rudolf Steiner Archive, rsarchive.org, and you can see you can click by volume slash GA, and these group them specifically by subject, essentially. So you can see you can scroll down to lectures on education, and then you can um, pick which lecture you're looking for, and it will give you the entire uh, electronic format that you can read right there on the website. Um, my favorite part of this is to go to the keyword search 
And like you, I said before, you can look up handwork or whatever key phrase you'd like, and then it will pull up any uh, article or lecture or work that has the word handwork in it for you to read and see what Steiner, Steiner said about that. So a third fantastic resource is waldorflibrary.org. So whereas the other two were Rudolf Steiner focused, this website differs in that it's Waldorf education focused. So um, this is straight from the site. It says, uh, our aim is to make visible all the available book resources on Waldorf education that are currently in print and where to purchase these. Also included are an ever-increasing number of ebooks in PDF format that can be downloaded to your PC or electronic reading devices. So these are Waldorf education centered and um, the books, it's good to see the books because then it points you to where you can buy them. But my favorite thing are the free ebooks. I can't tell you how many free ebooks are available that I've used in my daily practices for Waldorf education. Uh, so it's definitely worth checking out. Here is waldorflibrary.org. You can see you can scroll down and look at the menu of all of the different items that they have. I personally like to go to ebooks, and when I go to ebooks, you can um, scroll down and you can uh, either look at different ebooks that are here or go by a different um, keyword search, and you could click on the book that you're looking for scroll down and about halfway through the page you'll see the download for the ebook it'll ask you if you want to download you say yes it'll download it see it's downloading and then you can go to your downloads and actually bring up the ebook that you're looking for right here on the website and i've even been able to download these as pdf files uh, to my reading apps on my phone Okay, and then just two other places where you can get free resources for Waldorf education. I love podcasts. Podcasts is my next uh, headline here. And there are several um, Waldorf focused or Rudolf Steiner focused podcasts that I can point you to. The first that I love is Waldorfy. This podcast is um, created by a former Waldorf student who is now an adult with children of her own. And she wanted to really look back and explore the roots of Waldorf education. And she set up a great podcast where she brings in great guest speakers to speak with her about all aspects of Waldorf education and anthroposophy. Another great podcast is a Waldorf journey. Uh, this one is uh, Con this was conducted by a Waldorf teacher and she had been a grades teacher for years. I know she's no longer teaching Waldorf education, but the, um, the podcast is still a great resource about teaching Waldorf education, whether that be in a classroom or at, at home. Um, if you're looking specifically in the homeschooling sphere, there is the podcast called, podcast called Art of Homeschooling Podcast. It's by Jean Miller, and she was a she did Waldorf homeschooling for all three of her children. And this this podcast focuses on homeschooling mostly, but because she was a Waldorf homeschooler, um, there is a Waldorf flair to everything that she says. So and want to learn, learn more about anthroposophy, which is the basis of Waldorf education, um, which was founded by Rudolf Steiner. There is a great podcast. It's called The Anthroposophist. So um, again, they have guest speakers on there and I've really learned to understand anthroposophy on a much deeper level by listening to this podcast. So that's one more group of free resources. And then the very last free resource that I have for you today is your library. Um, my library does not have any Rudolf Steiner books on hand. They don't really have any of the Waldorf education resources that I would use or books that I would use. I know some libraries do, so please use your chat tap into your library as a resource. But one thing that my library does have that I think almost all libraries these days have is some kind of an online platform where you can um, borrow 
audiobooks and um, ebooks. So the platform my library uses is called Hoopla. Um, I know there's various different ones out there, but Hoopla has been a great resource. They do have Rudolf Steiner audiobooks on there. Um, and I've also gotten other um, Waldorf education books on there, either in an ebook format or in an audiobook format. So there you have it. There's several different avenues that you can explore and go down to look at uh, for free Waldorf education resources.